wineries, breweries, events, and more. Maya Acosta here with Claire Scotty today. Claire, how's it going? It's good. I'm loving the weather that we're having. You know, we got a little bit of rain earlier this week, and the the sunshine is out. The crispness in the air is here, and all of our breweries and wineries, they are just getting ready for this season, and the food that they have going is going to be delicious. The music, I mean, it's all just going to be so much fun, and our community is just continuing to bring on the fun so (laughs) yes and it's gonna be cold this weekend so what more of a perfect reason and excuse to head to the wineries and breweries warm up with a nice glass of something tasty enjoy some music and uh yeah stay out of the cold weather i don't know i know i've seen reports potentially of snow and people are getting real excited about it, but I don't know <laughs> if we'll see it. We'll find out. It's a little early. I know we've had snow early in the past and like snow on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that would be pretty cool. And I uh, know almost all the vineyards have their fireplaces up and running. Lovely. So, yes. I mean, think of like that mold of wine mm-hmm. next to the fireplace, you know, some music going. I mean, does it get better than that? It does not. So cozy. <laughs> okay. So let's get into it. We, yeah. You know, we're teasing everyone with the lovely (laughs) warm coziness of these wineries and breweries but what are they doing this weekend yes so let's start with our breweries this week we have local craft beer they have their musical open mic night on thursday and they have cub and gup serving up delicious pizza this week Friday, they're starting a new singer-songwriter night every Friday. And this week, they have Neil Fogel, Allison Reynolds, and Django all coming together, and they're going to do a folk night and singer-songwriter night. Cool. So, yeah, that's really exciting. I'm super stoked to hear them and to see them come together because they just... They, they really jam when they get together. Mm-hmm. And Lupita's Hot Tamales will be there on Friday, as well as Saturday and Sunday. And Wednesday, Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night, starting at 6.30. Mountain Brewing has their open mic night on Tuesday, starting at 5.30. And Line Dancing on Thursday at 5.00. West Lane is a little bit of a question mark this weekend. I'm not (laughs) sure what all is going on, but they do have a paint night next Wednesday. Okay. So next Wednesday, they're going to do a Highland Pastures. It's Ah. like this adorable Highland cow. Oh, I love it. And right? It's so cute. And so it looks super fun to paint. So as unique as the art, paint night Wednesday at 6 p.m. at West Lane. Heading over to our vineyards, Stray Leaves has that fireplace on. They have that new delicious winter menu with soups and hot sandwiches and like turkey melts and so many yummy <laughs> things. Um, all of that award-winning wine and, you know, mold cider, mold wine, not mold cider. And uh, they're open Thursday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Dorner Family Vineyard has Kerry Park playing on Saturday from 1 to 5 and Tom Carlson playing on Sunday from 1 to 5. They're serving up those meatball sandwiches along with their traditional menu. They also have beer for those beer fans that would like to come along. And they're getting ready for that big Christmas market, that Christmas German market happening December 7th and 8th. Oh my goodness. Dang, I'll have to go the 8th (laughs) with all the things happening for Hometown Christmas. But I went last year because if I remember correctly, it was the weekend after hometown Christmas last year or maybe I don't know either way right I, I think, was so yeah, they glad tried to do a full weekend so yeah I mean I like I all the festivities happening downtown on Saturday there's so much, there's so much but definitely see if you can hit everything up because that German Christmas market is bomb it is it's super <laughs> cool it really gets you in like you seriously do feel like you're in Europe somewhere with how beautiful Dorner is and all of the vendors and of course their mold wine is so tasty mm. And then yeah. there's people with the candied nuts and it just smells amazing everywhere. <laughs> yes. And just, you really feel like, yeah, you've been transported. And then afterward, you really have that Christmas spirit. Yes. All throughout the whole month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heading over to Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company. They have Jarrett Miner playing on Saturday from 2 to 5 and Dave Mordigian playing on Sunday. And they're really bringing out that warm menu right so if it's snowing outside you want some hot chili or some Mm -hmm. smash burgers or clam chowder in a sourdough bread bowl or hot dogs chili dogs sangria you know all kinds of stuff so they're really bringing out the hot chilies and the the soups over at Tatchby Winery, they have their happy hour every Friday with 20% off wine purchases, charcuterie available all throughout the weekend. And then next week, mark your calendars because they have their wine club pickup party happening all throughout the weekend. 
Over at Triassic, they have a paint night happening this Friday with As Unique as the Art. Beautiful vineyard scene. So uh, looking forward to that one. And then on Saturday, Preston Smith is playing at 3.30. And on Sunday, Mike Heckathorn is coming in and playing at 3.30. Over at La Bodega de Castillo, which is over here downtown, right across the tracks next to Darlene's Real Swell Toys, they have a really fun event happening on Sunday. It's a cookie decorating class, but you're you're decorating the cookie to look like a slice of pie. Okay, cute. Right? Super cute, super cute. And it's from Bully in a Jar. Um, they make these gorgeous cookies and they're going to be teaching everybody how to make their own holiday pie slice cookie. Fun. (laughs) Right? Super fun. That's at 4 p.m. You can contact La Bodega or Bully in a Jar. Um, They have their little uh, event up on Facebook and so you can contact them several different ways and see if you can get in on that. Yes. And I have to say, I finally, my goodness, it took me forever, made my way to La Bodega last weekend and I cannot stop thinking about their wines there. Obviously, they import their wines from all over the world, but Claudia has amazing taste (laughs) she said that she has a very hard job because she has to taste so many wines and select you know the best Mm -hmm. to put there in their uh, little winery there but oh my goodness the wines that i tasted were so delicious and um i will be back (laughs) yes absolutely i love that space and again i mean i've mentioned in the past but like when you walk through the doors you're you're transported to europe and the the decoration is just so amazing and she's really put thought into every single detail. And you're right. I mean, you're, you're traveling across Europe with these wines mm-hmm. and these beers and, you know, her charcuterie is very unique and different and tasty. And so it's just a whole different experience and highly recommend. Yes. <laughs> All this unique, worldly, you know, flair to a winery right in downtown Tashby. Who would have thought? Right. We got it all. Well, that is what our vineyards and our breweries are doing. But, you know, we've got Oliver kicking off at the BK Theater. You know, there's so much still happening this weekend. There's a ton to do. I've bought my (laughs) tickets for opening night. I am super excited. Let's remind the people how they can buy their tickets as well for Oliver. Yes. So head over to TCTA onstage.com to get those tickets and here are some of the show times starting off november 15th 16th 22nd 23rd december 6th 7th 13th and 14th those are all evening performances starting at 7 30 and then on november 24th december 8th and december 15th Those are matinees on Sundays at 2 p.m. Yes, and I I have several friends who are in the performance this time, and they are so excited. Yay. So, yeah, I'm very excited to see this one. I mean, they're all amazing, but it's like I just get that giddy feeling every Mm -hmm. time, and it's like, oh, I can't wait to see them. Oh, yeah, there was a ton (laughs) of our TCTA TCTA actors at the White Rabbit Studios Grand Ribbon Cutting yesterday. Claire in the chamber, amazing job with that. Uh, And everybody obviously was very excited for Chris Morales and her new space there on mill street but also a topic of conversation was oliver and all of, everybody's yes. very excited for it yes so many performers for oliver and the people that worked on the stage dylan like like jeanette power yep. she painted probably over a couple thousand bricks <laughs> She painted like the whole London skyline, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is it is phenomenal. And she has spent so many hours in time. Uh, James Carhart has been working very hard on the set. And, you know, just all of these people that are involved. Um, it's amazing. And then seeing them there last night celebrating this new wonderful space with Chris Morales and White Rabbit Studios. There had to be over 100 people in that room. It was packed. It was packed. <laughs> <laughs> Kudos to everybody who like packed in like sardines for the photo and the yeah. ribbon cutting and <laughs> i still don't know if i got everyone in that picture because it, there was just so many people but it was really amazing to see all of that support and i think it speaks to how uh you know supportive our community is of the arts it's really really cool to see <laughs> yes um heading over to fiddler's crossing they have ray bonneville performing on november 24th so that's going to be next week but you want to get your tickets now um so ray bonneville does like new orleans jazz just i'm very excited i I listened to a few songs that he's done and it just brought me back to my new orleans trip that i really really appreciated cool so super fun that'll be at 4 p.m november 24th that is at fiddler's crossing 206 east f street and 30 dollars for that concert heading over to the vfw this weekend smoking jack primo is gonna be lighting it up saturday at 8 p.m 
And we know the VFW is right downtown, um, right next to Conan's and across the street from the Visitor Center on Tashby Boulevard. On Saturday, we have a Warrior Cup fundraiser. Yes, we do. Yeah. So supporting THS Soccer for this fundraiser. This will be at Valley Park and it's five aside soccer, 16 years and older. And there's going to be games, trophies, prizes, all kinds of stuff starts at 8 a.m. And it's $150 to participate. Correct. That sounds right. Yeah. I mean, that's everything (laughs) I saw on the Warriors um, page. And so uh, if you want to learn more, go to THSboosters.com. Get those tickets. Get ready to play at the five aside soccer field at valley park yes it'll be really cool and an awesome way to see that space utilized i know it was just like super duper popular all throughout uh summer with all the kids and not to say that it's not popular now but it's another reminder of like hey there's this awesome space here to utilize and uh play a unique version of soccer yeah hone in those skills yeah um healthy hippie is having a paint night this saturday um it's from not your typical paint night so a different type of painting starts at 6 30 and healthy hippie is located at 20418 brian way and it's 40 dollars for that paint night all right something different and fun and then on Saturday, Sheridan's, located right down here on Tatchy Boulevard, they're celebrating their seventh anniversary. Oh, cool. With a customer appreciation. So nice. three to seven, um, come on over, see what they have, and celebrate this business that's been here for seven years. Awesome. I can thank them for a lot of the decor in my home. <laughs> thank you, Sheridan's. Right? Yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then I think we have some coffees with important with people. With important people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, next week we'll be busy for that. So we're kicking it off on Tuesday, the 19th, with coffee with a cop. So we'll have Chief Standridge there to talk to all of our residents and community members, and he'll uh, be joined by some of his team as well. Uh, and so that'll be 9 a.m. at McDonald's on Tucker Road. And they, uh, I must say, the McDonald's there, owned by Marianne Pachulo, they are amazing. And they're always so welcoming of not only, you know, us when we host events there, but obviously of all of the community members they know these regular customers by names they yes. know like their whole life story <laughs> it's really really yes, cool it's not your typical mcdonald's it's really not it's a whole different like fa- yeah family oriented experience very family oriented and usually we have these coffee events at 7 seven thirty, but we bumped it back to nine so from nine to about ten thirty to try to hit a different group of people nice. um whether it be you know moms after they drop their kids off at school or really whoever if that just fits in your schedule better we would love to see you and uh talk about things happening locally awesome then thursday is our regular coffee with the mayor that happens every third thursday of the month so that'll be at 7 30 at mountain coffee house on mill street and the mayor will be there our city officials will be there And same thing, really, if you have any questions or concerns about things happening in the community, this is a really casual way to converse with our city officials and, of course, enjoy some tasty coffee from Mountain Coffee House. That's awesome. And then looking a little further into our month here, we have the Turkey Trot. Yeah. Happening November 23rd. Everybody get out your your trotting shoes. And your costumes. And your costumes. Yes. Yeah. So the top three costumes are going to get to come home with some prizes. And I believe the, the top three men and the top three women also get turkeys. Yes. So you're running for turkeys. You're running for turkeys. <laughs> so you don't have to, you know, pay. I don't know how much a turkey costs nowadays, but it's probably expensive. Yeah. I mean, and you got to feed like um, a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. It's like an army. So, yeah, you, you've you got a real incentive to just like run as fast as you can, try to win, you know, first through third place and get yourself a turkey. So you don't have to worry about, you know, fighting for the best turkey at the grocery store this year. Yep. Yep. I feel like that's better. And you get to run along Bright Lake. So beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. So November 23rd, out at Bright Lake, $35, starts at 9 a.m. TVRPD is hosting and running this one wonderful event and Alta One Federal Credit Union is the big sponsor. Yes. And I'll plug as usual. We had a past episode, this the one directly before this episode, with TVRPD talking about the turkey trot. So if you want to learn more, I talk with Sari Diaz, 
with TVRPD all about it. Nice. Great. And then on November 27th, Healthy Hippie Trading Company is actually going to be doing a Thanksgiving feast to honor elders in the community. Oh, nice. Um, So that's a really nice thing. I I wanted to get that out there for our um, Golden Hills community and, um, you know, Old Town. This will be a wonderful space to to come and um, celebrate our elders and to give them something delicious to eat. So that's at 2 p.m., and you can call 661-822-9797 to get more details on that. And then we have a couple donations happening in our community right now. And they're trying to collect these donations before the first couple weeks of December so mm-hmm. that you know these things can be distributed by Christmas. Mm-hmm. So we have the Lions Club. They do their um, do- donation program where they're asking for toiletries for elders. And so they put these wonderful packages together and it's just as simple. If you go to Walmart and you get like a little toiletry pack and then you can donate it. And there's several different places you can go. You can go to the chamber, you can go to round table. Um, You know, there's boxes all over the place. And so just drop it off anytime you can and uh, make someone a little bit more comfortable and, (laughs) and happy this season. Yeah. And then Toys for Tots is happening all around. And I know Sim Sanitation is one of the big drop-off locations. And I believe the city, uh, do you guys have a drop-off? I believe so, yes. Yeah, because I think you guys were, I think I saw a box when I came in. Um, So again, grab a toy from one of our local shops and drop it off so those kiddos can have a wonderful Christmas as well. Yeah, and also the city of Tatchby is helping the Rotary Club in their 12 Days of Christmas food drive. So this has been going on for, I don't know how many years, but it's a long time running and it's a you know, wonderful program to provide our seniors with non-perishables and also some of those toiletries and clothing, uh, just the necessities for the holiday season. So that the donations have already you know started to be accepted. You can drop them off at City Hall, um, TPD, The Loop, Tatchby News, I believe Mountain Bible Church, and there's probably a couple other locations I'm forgetting. But the idea is that there's 12 days and each day there are two items that you are supposed to donate and so there's a full list of that that we have posted on our social media i believe maybe the rotary has that posted somewhere but if you need to take a peek um it's super simple i put all of these items all 24 items into a walmart cart just to see and it costs less than 75 dollars to provide a senior with a ton of supplies right yeah throughout the holiday season um so super easy way to give back and then the donations are accepted until december 16th i believe it is and then they will be distributed those food boxes on december 19th and that's also a super fun day the city of tatch Beam public works department and our police department get to go hand deliver these boxes to our seniors and it's really really lovely yeah that's amazing i love i love everything that this community does and then, of course, we've got the parade coming up and Hometown Christmas and a reindeer rush. Yeah. Yeah. So we have, I mean, tons of information out there on Hometown Christmas. And I think we'll be doing like a December 7th centric episode here soon, just because there is so much There's going so on. So much. <laughs> There's a ton yeah. going on. But we also have the reindeer rush program uh, kicking off. So. Monday, November 19th, will be the deadline for businesses to apply for this program. And basically, it is a scavenger hunt, kind of elf on the shelf style, except it's a reindeer that folks have to go into your store or business and find. And once they find it, they get a stamp from the business owner on their passport card. And once you get at least five um, stamps, you get an entry into a raffle for a grand prizes from all of the businesses and the businesses will donate either merchandise or gift cards to be put in these prizes so every five stamps you get is an additional entry into the raffle so we are really excited for this program we'll be kicking it off on black friday and it'll run until december 23rd and it's just a great way to encourage shopping locally and supporting our brick and mortar businesses this holiday season yahoo i love it yes and for those that want to be in the parade the deadline to apply to be in the parade is november 25th so contact the chamber talk to them stop by um 
make sure you get that application filled out and turned in. Yes. yes. Get your information <laughs> in quickly. Yes. We are really looking forward to the Christmas parade. We'll mention it again. It's a new route this year. Yes. Really excited for it. So it will go down F Street as usual, but then turn left on Robinson and then turn left on the boulevard and end at the depot for the tree lighting. So it'll be, um, you know, a, a twist on a classic Christmas tradition, and we are really excited for it. Um, I think this year's parade and hometown Christmas is going to be huge. I think so. I would just it gets more joyful every year, and so and more Hallmark movie esque. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> how fun! Awesome. Well, that's everything that I was able to find um, through newspapers and Facebook and Eventbrite and all the places that I try to scour. But as we know, if you're listening and you have an event coming up please reach out because we would love to mention it and talk about it. Yes, absolutely. You can email us media at tachpcityhall.com and Claire and I will add that to our list of things that we have happening in the community. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at that same email or send us a DM on our social media at cityoftachpy.com. For a full recap of all of these events and activities, also be sure to go to Discover Tatch Beat social media. They spell it out nice and simple for you. Um, so if you're, we're just kind of halfway listening to this episode, shame on you. <laughs> but you can go back and uh, write things down um, very handily. Does that make sense? Very, <laughs> very easily, conveniently. That's the word there I'm looking go. for <laughs> um, through Discover Tatch Beat. So Claire, okay. as always, thanks for bringing in all of this information. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And everybody listening, thanks for tuning in and spending some time with us. We hope to catch you back here next time on Tahatch Pod. Mm-hmm.